Take that one upstairs oh, right away. Okay. okay, okay. I'll go um, backwards up the steps. No, no, it's okay. I would. No, no, no. no, no. Wait, wait. No, no. Don't. Uh, drop it. Oops. What's that smell? My uh, lab equipment and, well, was in there. You had a lab in your apartment? Hi. Uh, oh, my man. Oh, what a muddle. Oh, sweetheart, listen, darling, I, I don't like my boarders to muddle up the house. I mean, not, not even the kitchen, unless I have okayed the menu. Oh, no, 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 Mrs. Fargan, I, I learned my lesson. Believe me, I'm going to rent space from an independent lab. I promise. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Oh, what's that smell? Oh, is that uh, country perfume? <laughs> what country? Pole cat? I, uh, Skunk? <laughs> I think so. My chemicals yeah. may have spilled. Well, those chemicals might be biting a hole in my floor. <laughs> what have I let myself in uh, for? Nothing, nothing. Mrs. Fargate, I swear, you're not going to regret renting me a room. No, I he's very responsible. Very, very helpful. Uh, very <laughs> handsome. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> OK, OK, OK. You better come with me and sign the rent book. Off you go. And my name is Myrtle. Got it. Well, do you want to take this thing upstairs to Boyd's room? Something leaking? Oh. No, I, I think it's... It's okay. <laughs> I think we should probably let Boyd take the rest of this upstairs. Yeah, it's a good idea. We've, we've done enough damage for one day. <laughs> well... The deed is done. He has signed away his life, and he is my new boarder. And my new neighbor. Congratulations, boy. Thank you, thank you. Well, do you want to take whatever is left in the upstairs? Um, why don't you guys leave it? I'll take it up and see what I can okay. salvage. Okay. Well, I'll go to the car, get some of the smaller things. Good idea. Back He's a nice boy, he that boy, is. isn't he? Yes, you're going to enjoy having him around, Myrtle. Am I going to see a lot of the nice young girl? Lena? Mm. Um, well, she's not Boyd's girlfriend or anything like that, if that's what you mean. Is she yours? Do you want her to be? Um, right now we're just, all of us, just friends, friend friends. Sensible girl. Thank you. That's the best way. All right, I'm going to make another trip. I'm good to get you. OK. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, are you crazy? I thought I'd save us some trips. Well, is there anything left out there? I'm afraid so. I'll go get it. Are you kidding? <laughs> Wait, come here. Oh. Let me go. I got it. <laughs> Careful, it might fall. Just. Answer me one question. Sure. Which team are you on? My Berica. I got it. Get it. It's okay. Hello? Lena, darling, are you able to talk? Yes. Very nice work. Thank you. Uh, that uh, reporter Steele was just here. Your counter leak to the Wall Street Herald worked. Looks like they've swallowed the bait. They certainly have. Time to start reeling them in. <laughs> you can count on me. You never answered my question. Which is it? Are you straight or gay? Do you ask because you're interested in me? Maybe. And because you seem interested in Bianca. I am. I like Bianca very much. So you are gay? I am friendly. Is that supposed to be my answer? What kind of game are you playing? You have so many questions, and uh, I have to go. Can you be Bianca do without me? I think we'll struggle through, yeah. Thanks for helping. Anytime. Oh, hey. I have to run. I'll see you later. Oh. Yeah, see you later. Well, Boyd, what did I miss? Well, because I was gone for like two seconds and I come back and now you've got this mysterious glazed over look on your face. Yeah, well, let's just say our uh, little bet 
Uh-huh. You're so gonna lose. Uh, I don't think so, my friend. Trust me, Binks. You're gonna owe me one heck of a dinner. Oh, uh, you don't take reservations. Um, how long have we wait for a table? Party of two. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like you have a date for dinner. That all depends on whether you're free to join me. Oh, how fun. What is? Well, this place is so lively. Oh, over here. Ah. I gotta say, Lena, you, uh... You really surprised me. How do you mean? Oh, I don't know. I guess I just imagined you having dinner in four-star restaurants and ordering in French. <laughs> Well, I uh, guess I'm developing a taste for all things American. I'm such a pig of myself. I like a girl with a healthy appetite. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, this used to be a meal for me. And even then, I had to, like, choke down. Really? Yeah, I had an eating disorder. I was anorexic. I actually nearly starved myself to death. Is it, I'm sorry, is this too much information? No, 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 it's just what you're saying, it's so, it's so revealing and, and you're very open. Well, I feel very comfortable with you and I don't like treating any part of my life like a dirty little secret. I've been there, done that. Was it traumatic for you, coming out? Yeah on lots of levels. Was it painful for you? Botanical about sexuality. European attitudes are somewhat relaxed. Excuse me, those buffalo wings as good as they look? They're terrific. <laughs> look, uh, I'm Billy, this is Kyle. Oh, I'm Bianca. This is Lena. Hi. Do you mind if we join you, or are you waiting for your dates? Waiting for anyone. Bianca's with me. And I'm with Lena. Girls night out. No boys allowed. <laughs> uh, you could have said something. Uh, I don't know. I thought we just did. It's okay, really. We didn't know. What is it do you think they didn't know about? Probably the same thing I'm not quite sure about myself. But I suspect. Am I right? I enjoy being with you. Isn't that enough for us to know for now? Guess it's enough. For now. <laughs> Stone. Hey, what are you doing here? You go to school here, remember? <laughs> Not that you've had time to notice. I know you've been so busy studying. How'd the test go? Okay, I guess. I'm sure that you aced it. Hey, uh, didn't I see your, your study partner, Henry? Did you see that girl that he was with? Yeah. You jealous? There's something going on with those two. A lot more than Henry's letting on. So you think that Henry and this girl are involved? Not exactly. Well, what exactly? I mean, how are things going with you and Henry? Is it love? It's too soon, I'm not sure. Oh, well, you seem kind of hung up on him. What's going on? <sighs> Henry got into some trouble and I bailed him out. I helped him out. And I'm not sorry, all right? I'm just not sorry. Of course you're not sorry. Why would you be sorry? No reason. No reason at all. How's that bet going? You know, the one with Lena, the hot Polish oh. fox? Is she the woman of your dreams or boys? Lena and I had dinner. Really? Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I don't know if there's much more to tell. She's kind of a hard lady to uh, figure out. 
Just be careful, okay? Be careful? You know what I mean. Just make sure that this Lena girl is who you want her to be. Just watch her back. Okay. I don't know. Maybe this time things will work out. Maybe I'll get lucky. Hmm. Because it's late, and you're not listening to me. Well, when you say such hurtful things, I... Mom, I... I'm not trying to hurt you here. It's just that... I, I just see you repeating the same pattern again and again and again, and... I mean, I gotta be honest with you. My biggest fear is ending up just like you. All alone. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Why? I mean, right now. Why not? I mean, just because everything's so messed up right now, you know? We should wait. For what? I want it... I just want the first time to be perfect. How do you mean not in a dorm room with thin walls and no candles because they're a fire hazard? Katie, do you mean your first time ever? Yeah. Henry. Well, so maybe we shouldn't. Henry, it's my first time too. What? Really? Yes, and can you please not look so surprised? No, it's just, I mean... I mean, I look at you, and I see this whole incredible person, and... I mean, you have this life that I... Okay, I just never thought that you hadn't. Well, I haven't. You know, before I came here, I mean, even after that, it was very hard for me to open up. You opened up to Bianca. You were close with her. I mean, when I first met you, I thought you were her lover. Bianca was just Frankie's girlfriend when I first met her. You know, I mean... I didn't know my sister was gay until after she passed away. Frankie was gone, I came here, I looked just like her. Bianca was... drawn to me. Naturally, right? And I was curious about her, about Frankie, and... I wanted to know about her, and about her life, and... Bianca was closest with her. And you never considered? No, I did. I considered it. Bianca was the first person who ever really got to know me, the real me. You know, I mean, she knew about my dreams and my fears. And I learned about her, too, and it was amazing. It was great. I mean, it was scary. To get to know someone like that. Frankie left me this incredible gift. What so happened? Ultimately, I wasn't who Bianca needed me to be. But Frankie. No, I wasn't gay. Well, that must have been hard. For both of you. It was like getting a wall of truth. Because I had feelings for her. I won't deny that I did. They just weren't sexual. And this is? I mean, what you have for me? Big time. And you know what? Hmm. Right now, right here, Everything is perfect with you. Because I can be who anybody. I can just be me. And you'll accept me for that. I'm in. Nor 
Jones has the most beautiful voice. Yes, but Alicia Keys writes and plays her own music. Exactly. How does a numbers cruncher from Poland know so much about American music? I think I'm into polka. <laughs> I have many tastes, you'll see. Actually, there's a band playing at SOS this week that redefines American blues. I'd like to take you. Um, Lena, I... I need to ask you a question, and, and I, I need to have a, uh, a straight answer from you, so to speak. Ask me anything. If we go to SOS together, will it be on a date? I mean, like, a, a real, honest-to-goodness, woman-to-woman date. <sighs> yes. A real date. If that's okay with you. I'd love to. Good. <laughs> mm, ladies? Oh, boy. Hey there. What's with you? You look way too happy first thing in the morning. Oh, well, um, Lena actually just asked me on a date. Really? Oh, uh, that's terrific. Hey, um, uh, do you want to sit down? I'm just gonna run to the ladies' room and check my makeup before we head to work. You look beautiful. Hey, do you mind if I uh, have your hash browns? Uh, only if you want me to kill you. Gotcha. Haha. <laughs> so, you and uh, Bianca, huh? This will be fun. And, uh, what about kissing me? Was that also fun? Yes, it was. You're a very good kisser. Lena, you know, just what are you trying to pull? Listen, Bianca's my friend. I won't let you hurt her. I won't hurt her, boy. I like her. You kissed me. I like you, too. I like men and women. Put in my hash browns. Oh, come on. You've been gone, like, forever. I'm only human. Excuse me. <laughs> yes? Yes, yeah, it's me. Are you alone? Can you talk? Actually, no, it's uh, not a very good time. No, too bad. I need to talk to you. Come over to my place now. If you insist. What was that? Oh, it's my landlord. Something about a burst pipe in my apartment. Oh, mm. I hope it's not serious. Oh, I doubt it. So, I'll see you two at the office. Bye-bye. Mm. Good luck. Thank you. Easy, kiddo. She kissed both of us. Yeah, well, yours was a friendship kiss. I just won our bet. Really? You're sure about that? Yeah, I'm positive. When we were making plans, I asked Lena to clarify. I asked her flat out whether this would be a romantic date, and she said it would. So you've decided she's gay? I didn't decide anything. She's just made it known that she's interested in me. <sighs> Look, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Lena kissed me. That day, she helped me move into the boarding house. What kind of kiss? A kiss kiss. Sexy on the mouth. I just called her on it, and she says she swings both ways. She said that? Yeah. She said she likes both men and women. Well, so what? What, she can't be bisexual? Look, I think she's playing one of us. Boy, why would she do that? I don't know. Just something doesn't feel right. Uh, you know what? Maybe she's telling the truth. Maybe she honestly likes us both. Lena, hi. hi. Hello. Oh, she's not in. Um, I was just borrowing her office. Well, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to apologize for my rudeness this morning at breakfast, you know, leaving like that. Oh, well, you couldn't help an emergency. I just hope that everything turned out okay. Everything's fine. Well, great. I guess I'll get back to work. I hope we can get together again sometime without interruptions. Oh, yeah, I'd like that. Bianca. Oh, uh, what are you doing? I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, no, it's okay. It's just, you smell so good. <laughs> Well, thank you. <laughs> that must be Boyd's magic cream. Boyd's what? Nothing. But it's a perfume? No, no, don't ask me any more questions about it. I am sworn to secrecy. 
Say no more. In this business, discretion can be the difference between success and failure. Well, Floyd is definitely discreet. I mean, he hasn't even written down the formula. You're joking. No, it's all locked in his head. Is that wise? I mean, God forbid, should anything happen to him, all this hard work will be for nothing. I guess I never thought of it that way. Bianca, with so much at stake, having no backup is very risky. You, you're right. I'll talk to him about that the next time I see him. Good. <laughs> no. Remember. Oh, I won't say a word. Right. <laughs> It's me. I'm one step closer to getting that formula out of Boyd's head and onto paper. jewelry to sparkle, but... Uh -huh. With. Oh, excellent. Would you mind checking the class My for me? My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> wow, look <laughs> at you. <laughs> Doesn't she look sharp? Gorgeous. But, uh, I mean, if this is all for Lena, you know you're wasting your time, right? Going to ruin this. Come on, Bianca. Something is not right about this whole thing, including Lena. Oh, yeah? Why? Because you're not the one going on the date with her? Is that what the bet was about? Yes, and now Boyd doesn't want to pay out. That has nothing to do with it. Uh, all right, then. It's jealousy, plain and simple. Darren, your male ego has been hit. Mm -hmm. No, look, Lena is not oh, what Floyd, she seems. Please, just lay off the anti-Lena kick until after I leave. Binks, please. I'm only telling you this because I care about you. Well, then you. be happy for me. I'm going out on a date tonight with Lena. We are going to have a delightful time. Yeah, that's what worries me. Then what? Excuse me? Come on, you know what I mean. You're charming, <laughs> she's charming, she's oh. funny, she's beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. How do you like the outfit? Don't change the subject. I'm serious. I know, you're way too serious, Boyd. Lena and I are just getting to know each other. No harm in that, right? There is if you're counting on it leading to something more. Oh, Boyd, please, stop it. Look, I just don't want you investing in some romance is not going to lead to anything. Oh, well, uh, we don't know it's not. I don't know. I can't shake this feeling. Try. Look, all I'm saying is I want what's best for you, okay? A woman that wants what you want, that deserves you. Boyd, can I tell you the last time a woman has pursued me like this? Never. So please, just let me enjoy it, if only for one night. Even if it means you might wind up getting hurt. Yeah, yeah, even then. Lena asked me out tonight. I feel more alive than I have in centuries. We're gonna go out, we're gonna have a marvelous time, and you're still gonna owe me dinner. Live with it. <sighs> Bianca, you look breathtaking. I bought it especially for tonight, your pool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's you're stunning. <laughs> well, this is forget we don't look like two women who work hard all day, do we? <laughs> you look like a pair of lockers. Oh, work. I completely forgot to call Etienne Poussant today in Hong Kong. I'm supposed to call this afternoon. Oh, well, it's not too late. No, that's right. Let's um let's use the phone in my room. Okay. Uh, there's a phone right here. Boy, this is business. Uh, Lena, why don't you stay here and visit with me? Uh, Bianca might need me. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I do. <laughs> Come on up. You look so stunning. It's, it's not even lunchtime. Oh, okay. Boyd, give it to me straight. No pun intended. Do you think Bianca is heading for trouble with Lena? Let's just say Lena's been a busy girl, playing both sides of the street, if you know what I mean. Is that what your bet was about? Look, Lena planted a major kiss on me. What? And she's made some very direct passes more than once. She kissed you? She's taken Bianca out? Exactly. I don't know what game that girl is playing, but 
I don't like it. I remember that phone call. Your mother should be very pleased. I think she will. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Our send-off committee is still here. It's a slow night. Not for us. Yes. Well, where are you girls off to? We're going to SOS. It's open mic night, but they have dancing and carousing oh. before the amateurs take over. Sounds great. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say. Listen, count me in, girls. I feel like kicking up my heels tonight. Oh, Clara Lee is going to try to join us. Well, Myrtle, You remember I... Clara? You remember? Of course you remember her. She used to sing with Snappy's cynical painters, you remember? And then she married Snappy, and oh, around about 1940, but I that's think. That's wonderful, Myrtle, you but... Know, I think tonight, maybe Clara and I could wow the crowd with a couple of our old numbers. What about that? Oh, what a good idea. This should be a date to remember. <laughs> yes, listen. Oh, I tell you what, if by any chance, Clara can't make it. We could team up as a, a trio. I, I mean, can you girls harmonize? No, I, I don't uh, think so. Oh, boy, you're good. You're good. Miss, so much fun. Go. You can tell me all about it when you get back. Uh, all right. No, don't worry. We will. We'll, listen, we'll tell you over breakfast. Don't wait up for us.